Hey everybody, Skyler here, and today I wanted to talk to you about a couple of stories. Uh, one about the Russian president uh, allegedly giving orders to the government to adopt uh, crypto regulation by July 2019, and another one about Steve Wozniak. Uh, made a, somebody uh, asked him a few questions about Bitcoin. He kind of uh, said a couple things of what he thinks about crypto, and I'll, I'll go over those things with you. But before we end up... Uh, getting started. I just want to say I, I do make these videos every single day So if you are interested in, in into cryptocurrency or in the crypto space liking and subscribing is not a bad idea and uh, Any money I do make with this name is goes to charity 100% So any like or subscribe definitely goes a very long ways and is very much appreciated. So I uh, super appreciate um, You and let's get started. So I, I want to I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna report on this or not because to be honest uh, uh, I, I talked about this last year. Um, in fact, let's go back. Uh, last year, there was an article uh, that was posted May 22nd, 2018, and essentially um, said this, the same thing. They were going to regulate uh, cryptocurrencies, and they were going to do it on Tuesday, May 22nd of 2018. Now, they ended up uh, kind of pushing it through, and what they are saying is that uh, they ended up changing the name from cryptocurrencies to digital rights, and in doing so, they had to, while the definition of crypto mining has also been cut from the bill, as such, R Russia's crypto regulation bill was sent back to the very first reading stage in December of 2018. So they spent all year passing a bill, <coughs> and then um, they ended up sending it back and went back to square one. Which is, you know, wonder how many, how much man hours was wasted. <clears throat> that seems like that's what government work is, right? Just doing stuff over and over the same way. Um, at any rate, I don't know why they couldn't just have changed the names on the documents or whatever. But um, now they they actually say, hey, here it is. They said it in the in the Kremlin website, but uh, I can't read this. I, I probably actually could. Uh, wonder if there's a way to translate I'm sure there is I need a plug-in or something but um, at any rate uh, I can't really read this or verify it but uh, but since they linked it and it is the actual Kremlin website um, you know I'm, I'm sure it is in there but what that means for for you know crypto um, you know I don't really know what that means pro or negative uh, a lot of people don't like regulation, a lot of people are pro, a lot of people are against, I, I don't know. I, I think it'd be really nice if we can control this without regulation, um, but I can understand why people feel safe around regulation. I just feel like regulation may take things, get things quicker, but if we can figure out a way to get solve these problems without regulation, um, it may be the, the slower route, but um, when it comes down to it, it may end up being, um, at, at any rate, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, but it does mean that the, the Russian government is taking cryptocurrency more serious, which, you know, that's um, that's a good thing. It's meaning that Bitcoin isn't going away, um, which actually makes me, this takes me to our next point, and that's the Apple uh, co-founder, Steve Wozniak. He somebody made a comment, and I'm, I actually was gonna was gonna play it. I'm, I'll post the link in here, um, and it's right at like, it's right at, uh, oh man, let's see, yeah, it's right at four minutes and three seconds. So if you go to go and uh, click on the link, um, that's where it's at. But. Actually, I think I can link you to it, but at any rate, uh, I'll, I'll link you to the interview, and you can w watch it yourself. I don't think I'm allowed to put those interviews on my video, but um, at any rate, he asked him, uh, so the interviewee, uh, this oh, the other guy that was on the screen, he asked uh, Steve, he's like, so do you still believe that you know Bitcoin is going to be the world's you know, currency after the massive uh, dis value destruction? And uh, Steve said... I'm not sure uh, I can buy that we've seen a massive value destruction. Uh, I think we've seen of I think we've seen massive value creation. Now, um, and he talks about you know he's still pro. Bit 
yeah, people, he was talking about how people are just fearful of the price dropping and, you know, they're just pulling out because they're scared. And, um, but he, he said he's interested in the technology still. But anyway, it's kind of interesting. And, and I, I definitely agree with this. Uh, I, I don't know if who's been following crypto and how serious you, you have been following it. Uh, next year, I'm actually going to be following, I'll, I'll have been following it. Uh, more than half of his, its existence, so I feel like next year is my my uh, is that's where I get my members jacket <laughs> or whatever. But I've been following Bitcoin religiously for about two years, uh, even more than that. I was never you know really a super religious person, I guess. But uh, every single day for the last two years, I've been learning about cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, um, the whole industry. Um, this last, you know, few months, every single day, I've been posting videos, uh, you know, uh, writing articles. I, you know, so th like a year before that, year and a half before, you know, this last couple years, I've been really interested in it, and and you know, maybe a year before that, I found out about it. I actually kind of really found out about it in 2011 when the crash happened. But um, at any rate, um, the only reason why I'm saying that is anyone who's been around since 2000, you know. 16, 17, 18, every year it seems like it goes back. Um, any of this news that would have come out would have been huge. Um, but now you see, for instance, XRP just got listed on Coinbase. So obviously we saw a 200% increase, a 500% increase on, on, on XRP. It just shot up to three bucks a coin from 30 cents, right? Um, no, that that didn't happen. It went up ten percent. That's that's crazy. Can you? I mean, not. Can you imagine? There were fake. Um, you know, someone would see XRP in the coding of Coinbase, and then they'd put that on Twitter, and then all of a sudden, it'd be thirty percent in one day. Um, and yet now, these like massive news stories that are coming out isn't pumping the markets like it used to be for for whatever reason. Um, and uh, and so I, I don't know. I think the masses, unless they're like really looking at crypto every single day, every single day. Look at my videos. Look at the titles of all my videos. Every single day, something crazy is happening in in crypto, uh, and yet the masses believe that crypto is dying because it's it's been going down and down and down. But they're not looking at all the you know new adoption, all the you know, new technology that's being you know implemented in these cryptocurrency assets. Um, you know, even some of these, I, there's a there's a lot of projects that have dropped ninety five percent that I still really really like, um, and uh, like I really like Wax, the digital asset platform. It's completely working right now, and yet it's dropped ninety five percent, and it's a working. They're they are a better company than they were a year ago. Um, they've they've gained more people. They've made more partnerships. It's just like an, a way better company, and yet they've dropped ninety five percent. So, I, I you know. Um, that 20,000 spike may have been too soon, um, and we're just still recovering, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, here, here I actually pulled up a list on, on 99 Bitcoins. Um, it's kind of interesting, this site, I, I don't know what it is, but seeing, seeing some, like, <laughs> seeing some old dude, that's really messed up, I'm, like, 33, I'm old dude, but seeing, you know, uh, some, like, guy that looks like my dad talking talk to me about Bitcoin just turned me off. And so I never really looked into this 99 Bitcoins, but it's actually a pretty good site and the, and the guy is uh, pretty knowledgeable. And um, at any rate, I'm not trying to shield this site. I just, uh, um, I, I don't, I don't, I felt, I felt guilty for judging this guy in this site when I first came across it. But at any rate, um, uh, he has this list here, and it just shows all the companies that are accepting Bitcoin right now. And there's actually a couple companies that um, there is a, a new one that just um, uh, oh um, oh my gosh, a uh, new egg, new egg just did, and there's another one as well. Um, but there's a couple of big companies actually just uh, oh look, there's new egg right there. So, um, but anyways, yeah, here's a list of just a bunch of websites that are accepting Bitcoin and you know not just people who are accepting Bitcoin but uh, you know all the companies I mean we've had like a thousand companies fail and drop off the face of the planet and we've had another thousand companies pop pull on board so um, you know and with the lightning network coming on board and 
there's just so many there's so many good things happening in the crypto space i wish people in the crypto space would stop um hating on each other uh i i i got sucked into that pretty heavily hating on xrp hating on on a you know on tron hating on verge hating on um, you know, substratum, hitting on all these projects because I didn't like the owner, I didn't like people shilling him, I didn't like the fact that they're liars, I didn't like the fact that they're fraudulent or, you know, whatever. Um, but all I'm doing is like talking crap on, I don't know, it's just like, it's just negativity. You know, let's just not shill the crappy projects and let's just shill Bitcoin. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going off topic again. Um, at any rate, I guess I'm going to end the video right here. Um, I will see you tomorrow, and I super appreciate anyone who has been um, subscribing and liking and watching and all that jazz. Every subscribe and like definitely goes a long ways. Um, and yeah, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Take care, bye.